The series is back. These are 24 auditions that almost anyone can audition for. And if you would like more, you can check out my product here, 100 plus companies that you can audition for at this moment. So those companies, as well as the companies that I'll be introducing in this video are all ongoing auditions. So as I usually do, I try not to duplicate any companies from the previous years, but obviously the bigger ones are going to be repeated. So as the list goes on, you will see some new companies that you might have not heard of. And a lot of people also ask me if the companies from 2022 and 2023 video are still applicable and the answer to that is yes you can still audition for those because they are ongoing oh my god i almost forgot hi my name is irene i create videos on k-pop auditions every single week so tune back on sundays if you are interested in k-pop audition content and now let's begin with the big three so starting with sm entertainment obviously they've got their online audition which is literally for anyone regardless of age gender or nationality we decided to call that ang i think or was it ga Anyway, age, gender, nationality. Now you know what that means. So this audition is for any category, any time. And actually, they canceled their monthly auditions forever. And now this was for US, Japan, China previously. However, it's no longer a thing, but they still do have their weekly auditions, which is for anyone, but it is like in person in Korea. So if you happen to go to Korea, I definitely recommend joining those. Currently, they also have their SM Global Audition for 2024 happening. However, this is not ongoing, obviously. Next, we've got JYP Entertainment and they also have their online audition. It's for anyone with the categories vocal, dance, rap, acting, and modeling, and obviously it is anytime. They also have their monthly audition, and this is for anyone born from 2001 to 2011, and gender and nationality does not matter. And they kind of released the posts whenever they feel like it, so there isn't a set date, but roughly it's around every month. And similar to SM, they stopped doing their online monthly audition. However, they do have their center audition, which is held in Korea. And the reason why a lot of these companies stop doing online auditions like every month or every week is simply because things are less online. They're doing more in-person auditions, which I think is also great if you live in a major city because they're doing global audition tours as well. If you don't live in a major city, don't worry. A lot of these are online auditions. Next, we've got YG Entertainment. So they have their online audition on their website and it's for anyone regardless of gender and nationality. However, you do have to be born after 1921. So basically everyone. The categories that you can audition for are vocal, rap, and dance. And you can audition for a maximum of once a month, which I think is plenty, but again, it is any time. Next, they also have their monthly audition, which I've actually never experienced myself. I always ask you guys this, but if you've tried YG's monthly audition, online and let me know because I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Anyway, it's for any gender or nationality. However, you do have to be born between 2004 to 2012, like in between that time frame. And as a matter of like comparison, it was 2003 to 2011 in the previous year for the 2023 audition. So keep that in mind. It's the same thing as the online audition when it comes to categories. However, you can attend one audition every single month and that is attending not applying so you can still apply every single month until you get an audition and then after six months you can try applying again and they also have their yg dm audition and here is a hot and fresh audition tutorial just for you guys so now moving on to the black label it is like a subsidiary under yg entertainment but i consider them like their own company it's almost like hype labels okay so the categories that you can audition for in terms of these online auditions are vocal rap and dance and they actually only look for females born after 2004 so it's kind of clear that they're trying to make a girl group they did have a girl group audition so it definitely connects okay now moving on from big three is hype labels we're just doing this in random order in terms of the companies but first up we've got pletus entertainment because they've been here for a while now okay so the age is actually anyone born in or after 2006 it's kind of crazy because last year it was 2003 so that has really jumped surprisingly but the categories are vocal rap dance modeling and acting and it is anyone regardless of gender or nationality and I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's an online audition. Next up, we've got Adore Entertainment. It's anyone that is born between 2005 to 2011, which is crazy, with no restrictions on gender or nationality and also no limitations on category either. Next, we've got Source Music. They also look for females, but it is born after 2007. Seven, are we hearing this? The categories are vocal rap dance and also special talents. There's no audition tutorial yet for this one, but I'll definitely make one soon. Um, for now, I'll just link the website below. 
Okay, so the next high labels company is B Lift, and it's kind of like the opposite of Source Music because they only look at males, and it is anyone male born in or after 2005, and there's no restrictions on country or region. You can select one from vocals, which is singing, rap, or dance. Here's a big one, guys. Obviously, big hit entertainment. So it is males born after 2005, with the categories being rap, vocal rap, dance, acting, and modeling. And by the way, I do have my computer here, so it's not like I'm looking into the abyss when I look at this. Okay, lastly is KOZ Entertainment. They have their online audition. It is anyone regardless of AGN, finally. And the categories are singer, which counts for vocal rap dance, and producer, which is, uh, you know, the producing songwriting category. Okay, so now moving on to the mid-size category, or mid-size companies of the categories. These are very loosely defined, so do not get personally offended if a mid-sized company is in the small, you know, it's just kind of my own interpretation. Okay, so beginning with Cube Entertainment, they have two auditions going on at any time. So this is their email audition and their DM audition. And the qualifications for both auditions are the same. So it's no age, gender, nationality restrictions, the vocals, <laughs> categories are vocal rap dance acting and visual and it does look a little bit suspicious in terms of their website because it looks like it was made in the 1700s the websites even exist back then i don't know probably not but it is a little suspicious looking but don't worry it is their official website i feel like they should update it but hey that's just me okay next is kakao Inter entertainment so this is no gen no agn restriction the categories are vocal rap, dance, acting, modeling, and also sing song writing. Next is P Nation. They've got their email audition still going on. It's no AGN restrictions, and the categories are vocal rap, dance, acting, and music producing. Next up, we've got High Up Entertainment, and it is surprisingly anyone regardless of AGN. Now, their short term auditions are a little bit different because they do have. Um, age restrictions before their email online one, it does not matter. The categories are singer, so vocal rap dance, acting, producer, which is consisting of composer and also producing arrangement. Sorry, I meant string arrangement. I don't know why I said producing. Okay, next we've got IST Entertainment. They have an email audition and unfortunately it's anyone born between 2004 to 2011. And the categories are vocal rap dance, acting and modeling. And they also have their 2024 IST New Generation audition. Um, that is for 2005 to 2012, regardless of um, nationality and gender. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future, it might not still be applicable, but their email audition is ongoing. Okay, so next we've got Rain Company. They have their email audition, anyone regardless of HDN, and you can audition as a singer, actor, or a dancer. Next up, Woodlame Entertainment. It's their online audition for anyone. Now, the categories are vocal, vocal instruments, acting, modeling, dance, rap, and sing songwriter slash producing. So they've got basically all of the categories. And concluding the mid-size companies category would be Starship Entertainment. They have their online audition for anyone regardless of AGN and the categories that you can audition for are vocal rap dance and visual. All right, so now we're going to move on to these smaller categories that you may have heard of, you may not have heard of, we'll see. Okay, so starting off with Fine Entertainment, um, they've got anyone regardless of AGN, and the categories are vocal, singer, and also modeling, and gag. Gag is like being an entertainment MC, being funny, all of that. Next, we've got Abyss Company. It's an online audition for anyone, and there's also three categories. And I've mentioned this in the audition tutorial video, but this one is really interesting. So they've got the obvious singer, which is vocal rap dance. They've also got the obvious music producer, which is like sing, songwriting, producing, beat maker, top liner, and ETC. You can also audition, which is obviously not related to K-pop auditions in a sense, but it's visual creator. So concept creating, music video, photography, artwork, ETC, all of that you can actually audition for, which is very cool. I think that's a great job opportunity. Obviously, aspiring K-pop idols are not going to audition as a visual creator. Okay, we're getting closer to the end. And the next one is Biscuit Entertainment, anyone regardless of AGN. And their categories are vocal, rap, dance, and acting. Next up, we've got Escrow Entertainment. It is an online audition born after 2003, unfortunately, but the categories are vocal rap and dance. TR Entertainment is everyone regardless of H-E-N, and vocal rap dance is categorized as singer and composer, and raging is 
categorized as producer. You'll see this very commonly at this point. You've probably memorized it. Next is Bill Entertainment. It is anyone born from 2003 to 2011, regardless of gender and nationality. The categories are singing, rapping, dancing, acting, modeling, and duplication application. Duplication. Duplicate application is allowed. Oh my goodness. Okay. And that concludes all 24 companies that you can audition for, hopefully, um, at this moment. Obviously, some are like restricted by age, but hopefully you can audition for the other ones that are literally just for anyone. Okay, so as I reminded you before, here is a list of 100 plus companies that you can audition for. It extends from this list and also includes some really good companies, so go check that out. I'll also link it down below. Um, happy 2024, obviously. I didn't say that before, but thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Last month makeup, let's go. If you hear music in the background, that is because someone is playing music.